Hello everyone! With the news that Plaggy won't be supporting D2R, I started to look for other ways to hoard items. And today I will show you how to have Infinite Stash in Diablo 2 resurrected for single player only. Once again, this only works in offline single player mode. Alright, we're going to use an old and well known tool called Go Mule. It was made by Silas Penn, who also made Run Counter, Drop Calculator, and so on and was recently adapted for the D2R release to handle new stash size and shared stash as well. I will show you how to install it, what you might need to run it, and how I use it to organize all my loots. All right, let's move on to the installation. So what we will need is uh, this link to the SourceForge. Of course, everything you will find in the description and the pinned comment. I will keep all the links needed to download and get the stuff running there, so make sure to to follow it. So yeah, this is the application, the Go Mule on the SourceForge. You just click download, obviously wait a little bit until it will start. And eventually you will get the download window, save it wherever you want. You will get this way the, okay, let's update it. You will get the zipped file with a Go Mule. You actually don't really need to um, install it or anything, it's already a standalone application, just unzip it anywhere you want and from there you can launch it. One little tip is that maybe you don't have Java installed on your computer, so in this case please also follow this link for the java.com and download the version. Java is basically a programming language that allows you to use application based on this uh, language and yeah, it's one of the most common things on earth also produces 1 million of updates every week, I think. But yeah, anyways. So as soon as you got your uh, GoMule application unzipped and you have Java installed, just get yourself the uh, shortcut or launch it directly from the, from the folder where you unzipped it. And yeah, let's dive into this. There you go. This is the this is the basic window, how you will see it. Let me make it a little bit more comfortable to view. Uh, also, don't worry if you see it in a different color. You can always change uh, the appearance to the classic new light or dark. So to preserve your eyes, I decided to use the dark one. And from the beginning, what you will see is, yeah, just this strange interface. But uh, let me break it down one by one. So once again, on top, you have options to open a character or create a new character. You can also create new Atma stash or open existing one or add one. Then what is new with uh, Diablo 2 Resurrected is that you have the option to open your shared stash or add one. Then you can save all, open a run, drop calculator, then cancel things and rearrange the windows. Then on the left hand side you have D2 with character stashes, shared stashes and all the stuff. And at the bottom you have a possibility to create a project and you can think of the project as just an additional folder. For example, like I have here the main Go Mule and Untwinked Necro. This is where I keep all the stuff of the Necro so not to mix up it with anything else. Alright, so let's then uh, open a character that uh, we have. So normally in order to find your characters for Diablo 2 Resurrected, you will have to go to your disk C, then your user, save games, and then uh, Diablo 2 Resurrected. Here you will find the characters. So let's open just, a, let's say, a random character. And what you will see is all the items that this character has in the stash and on the character itself. It's still old appearance, but don't worry, it doesn't really matter. Then you can also view stats, quests, corps, mercenary, and all of that things. So, then in order to create a new stash, this is basically the infinite space for whatever you want to store. You can open the existing ones if you used it before, or create a new one. So, I will create a new one. Uh, let's just call it test stash. All right, now it's basically, yeah, it's just a list of things that you have. And 
there is nothing special to it. You have lots of different opportunities to filter items, but uh, let me show it better in action. So let's open our character again. For example, here I have my uh, four socketed face blade for whatever reason, and the scholar's ire. As soon as I click on it, you can see on the right hand side that it appears to kind of manage that it is inside the program. You can also then place it back with uh, another click anywhere where you have space, but let's now minimize it. And then you can place it in your stash by just clicking drop. And this is how you will see it here inside your uh, newly created stash. If you want to get back it again, just double click and you can go back to your character and put it inside. All right, let's now also open the uh, shared stash. Again, uh, it is in the same folder with the saved games, the shared stash softcore. So for example, here I have all the items uh, from my uh, Untwink Necro playing, so some charms, then some random stuff, and here also some gems and different finds. So you have different options. You can either pick items one by one, or for example, you can use the uh, item control option, pick all, then all of them will be there. You can also drop them back. If there is enough uh, space, then it will be just placed randomly. And generally what you could do with this application is that, yeah, uh, you have different options. You can either uh, create stashes based on the purpose or on an item type. And maybe I should better show you how I did it with my Twink Necro. So for example, over here, I have a couple of characters that I use for the items that are kind of everyday usage. So I don't want to go back and reopen the gomil. And then below I have bases, things for blood rings, for caster amulets, essences, then the dump with all the gems, the gems rolling. So those are for re-rolling, the grand charms that are useful, different jewelry, jewels, and so on. So basically organize it by item types or their purposes, sort of. Then I also have two for uniques and sets, just to keep kind of a grail progress. And so let me quickly show you how, for example, uh, let me close this one and let me close this one as well. Let me show you how um, I would use the gems dump, for example. Here I have generally uh, just a dump of everything that is not an item. So all kinds of runes and stuff. And in this case, I would open the, um, the shared stash. We'll just go through all the runes. Or normally I would actually just pick up things that are not gems or jewels or runes. So let's say like this and then go here and we'll just drop all. And I will way later on figure out what to do with them. For example, when I want to craft something, um, let's say I want to craft um, caster amulets, then I would go here, type amethyst and then Wait, I'm a amethyst. Let's narrow it down. So now I should only have only amethyst here. All right, so now we filtered out, for example, all amethyst, then I will just go in here, then hold shift so that I can select everything and click pick up. So now I have all my amethyst selected so I can start cubing them on my character and uh, basically start crafting. So this is how I would use it, for example. Uh, yeah, so I don't think there is much more to say. Uh, basically, every time you close those stashes, they automatically save. You can also save them uh, while you're doing this. Uh, one important thing is that you should not run the game when uh, you're muling. It can corrupt files and so on. And just to follow up on that, make sure you Always make backup of your files, even though GoMule in the project settings, uh, in the preferences here, for example, uh, it creates a backup for every changed um, stash or character weekly. You can also change it to daily or whatever you fancy, but still make sure to create your own copy just in case from time to time. That will be useful anyways. Um, yeah, 
so i don't think there is much else to say so hopefully you like it and if you are like me love to hoard items and you found this useful so make sure to hit it a like so that more people know how to start collecting their items in the d2r all right that's about it what i wanted to show it's pretty simple to use and really handy it is faster to use than plug it to for example clean up stash and rearrange things and so on but obviously lacks the ability to do it in game anyways i hope you found it useful and if you have any questions please feel free to ask in the comments thank you for watching and see you next time